Nel corso dei nostri servizi abbiamo già avuto occasione di mostrare During our services we have already had the opportunity to show you other super yachts, but the which are today in a true masterpiece that reveals not only the engineering work of the Italian shipyard CRN, but also the ability to achieve with a skill that we thought was lost, the interiors of other times. This new super yacht, the Latona, is presented in world premiere at the Monaco Yacht Show 2018. It was designed by CRN and Zucon International Project, with the participation of the owner who wanted to stand out, especially regarding the interior. It is also unique for the choice of colour of the hull, turquoise shades that vary with the changing of light and reflections on the water. It is 50 metres long and has four decks plus one down below and accommodates 10 guests in five cabins, as well as nine crew members. Prepare for a long journey inside this ship to discover what they have been able to achieve. In the cockpit of the main deck, a swimming pool with mosaic that incorporates the turquoise shades of the hull. Through the water, the light filters through the beach area below. It is a large lounge overlooking the sea, complete with solarium, fitness area, Haman decorated with a custom mosaic and garage. This area is called Tender Bay because here the tender is housed when the yacht is sailing. When it is launched, this becomes a pool. Quando viene varato, questa diventa una piscina. This is the sun deck, in pure Mediterranean style. We have the dining area, with water vapour nebulizers in the ceiling to refresh the environment. The barbecue, the American bar, the solarium with the jacuzzi. And aft, four sun beds and this sun deck, isolated from the rest of the bridge, to retire and think about how lucky you are to be here. Alla fortuna di essere qui. This yacht is inspired by an artistic period, and even the music is an expression of an era. Do you want to know which one? I'll give you a clue. This sofa is shaped like a lyre, the iconographic instrument of the Art Nouveau era. Try to imagine the thrill of listening to the notes in this lounge overlooking the sea. Outdoors, there is a very comfortable dining area for many guests and a charming tea room. This is also the bridge, where the cabins are located at the commander's office and the wheelhouse. The two Caterpillar C32 engines of 1,470 horses, the yacht can reach a maximum speed of 16 knots and can hold a cruising speed of 14 knots. This is the engine room, and we need to give some technical information. This super yacht is 50 meters long and 9.2 meters wide for a displacement at full load of 510 tons. The hull is displacement with bulbous bow and is made of steel, while the superstructure is made of aluminium. And here is the forward relaxation area, 
Here the furnishings have no era, they are simply marine, even in their colours. Under the sun deck there is a garage for the rescue boat and in the technical area of the bow of the jet ski. I wonder if it's easier to create contemporary furniture or to recall the European style of the 1920s. Imagine the difficulty and therefore the skill of the workers who have made it. I believe that the study of the design of the time, the research of materials and the creation of furniture and accessories that no longer produces for a long time require rare skills. They have managed to recreate that atmosphere of splendour and elegance that only a few historical residences know how to transmit. The owner wanted all this and I think they managed to please. On the floors of all the decks there is a precious dark brown embellishment that recurs depending on the environment, on the marble, on the carpets or in the curvilinear handrails. The spiral staircase connects three decks wrapping around a central wooden column covered with silver leaf. The winding lines are a stylistic constant present everywhere, in the furnishings, decorations made by hand. The lacquered doors have precious base reliefs. The oak wainscoting has silver pickling. Each one is a unique piece, worked by skilled craftsmen. The Murano glass lamps are inspired by nature, flowers, leaves. This is the Liberty style. The salon on the main deck is the place for gala dinners. The circular table is made of walnut and around it the chairs also with floral motifs. The accessories, like the Giorini lamp, are original pieces of the period. In the mirror ceilings and inlays that incorporate that dark brown embellishment, the sliding glass windows at full height open the living room, allowing you to enjoy the view that is even more exciting when experienced from the two side terraces. We are about to enter the owner's suite. It's not just a cabin, at the entrance a living room with a curved sofa. It does not seem like we are even on a yacht, but in a period villa instead. The suite is full of handmade details, such as the headboard of the bed, walnut and velvet. The sinuous furnishings, the white wool and silk carpet, the blown glass sconces and the vintage lampshades. Five petals from a Corolla for the spotlights in the ceiling. Imagine waking up in the morning, opening the window and diving from this balcony. Two doors lead to the double bathroom. In the middle, the jacuzzi and the shower. On the ground, the dark brown embroidery on the Calcutta gold marble. The coverings are in bright white Carrara marble on which the dark emperor tops and wash basins stand out. Crystal, nothing is trivial or similar to other residences or to other yachts, not even the faucets. On the lower deck there are four guest cabins. Towards the stern there are two double VIPs with wood panelling framed by wooden embellishments. The design on the carpet recalls the waves of the sea. To 
towards the bow, the two double cabins. The first is for the little ones, with a bunk bed and a fold-away bed for the nanny. The second, with two sliding beds, can be joined to make a double bed, as well as a bunk. All cabins, of course, have private bathrooms luxuriously finished. The sliding windows open the living room onto the terrace. How many times when observing residences, paintings, statues and other times have we thought it would no longer be possible to create certain works of art? CRN with Latona has instead shown that there is still hands and minds capable of giving rise to new masterpieces, following, just as in the past, the requests of wealthy clients.